air wedge determination of the diameter of a thin wire which is of the order of micrometer so we are provided with an air wedge now when the air wedge is eliminated by a sodium lamp uh, it forms interference bands and that bands are observed with the help, the help of a microscope then we can take the reading over the bands and the band width can be determined from the band width we calculate the diameter or the thickness of the wire and the air wedge it consists of here you can see a glass plate over the glass plate the thin wire now this is the thin wire i think you can see it it is of the uh, uh, very narrow very uh, diameter is of the order of micro meter over there we place another glass plate a second glass plate is placed to form the air wedge the second glass plate is formed now the distance now what happens that we are we are using two rubber bands now one of the rubber band is kept at one end uh, that is tight tightened tightened and the other end uh, it is loosely held with the rubber band now it becomes a air wedge actually what happens that uh, at one end the two glass plates are in contact at the other end the glass plates are not in contact because the thin wire is there so that in between the two glass plates an air film is formed due to the interference of light reflected from the lower and uh, upper side of the air film the bands are formed now the length of the air wedge is from the fixed end now this is the fixed end the two plates are in contact up to the wire that is known as the length l of the air wedge nidinde air wedge we have mentioned the aim is to determine the diameter of the wire by observing the width of the interference bands formed by the air wedge uh, we have seen what is an air wedge two glass plates are there now between the two glass plate a thin sheet or here we use the thin wire is placed then an air film is formed here that is an air wedge from the fixed end here to the wire we place that is the, L, the length of the air wedge now in the principle involved the diameter of the wire can be calculated using the formula d is equal to l lambda divided by 2 beta where l is the length of the uh, air wedge and beta uh, lambda is the wavelength of light used and beta the uh, fringe width and that fringe width we are determining we are uh, measuring with the help of a microscope now in the experiment setup now this is the air wedge now this air wedge is eliminated by the light coming from a glass plate which is placed 45 degree incline to a source of light so the light coming from a source of light falls on a glass plate that falls normally over the air wedge so the air film is eliminated so the light reflected from the lower and uh, top surface interfere so here an interference bands and that interference bands are observed and that is observed through with the help of the uh, telescope the uh, telescope of the microscope using the microscope we can observe the interference bands and you can see the interference bands are like this so the interference bands are not rings we are getting straight almost straight bands we are almost getting straight bands now before starting you have to count how many bands uh, just count at least you can see 20 or 25 bands are visible now take any of the band as the end band any of the band as the end band now the vertical crosshair of the microscope vertical crosshair of the microscope is focused over the end band take the microscope reading then moving the tangent screw move to the n plus 2th band now we moved by two bands n plus 2 take the reading then n plus 4 n plus 6 n plus 8 n plus 10 up to n plus 20 so we are taking the readings over n the band to n plus 20th band now when we are taking the microscope reading you can see uh, you are having a main scale reading and a vernier scale reading now for the microscope here you can see from the msr that is 9 10 and 11 are visible now from 10 to 11 there are 20 divisions you can see from 10 to 11 20 divisions are there so value of one main scale division of the microscope is uh, that 10 divided by 20 that is 0 0.05 and over the vernier here vernier is having say 0 this is 10 not even though it is marked 0 0.1 20, 20 uh, 30 40 50 so 50 divisions are there on the vernier so the least count is value one main scale division that is 0 0.05 divided by 50 that is 0 0.001 centimeter 
Now, when we are taking the reading, we are, have, we are getting the MSR readings here, uh, similarly VSR reading. In the picture shown here, the MSR reading is, now here, here you can see 9, then 9.05, 9.1, 9.15 and 9.2. Now, the zero of the vernier is just completed 9.2. So, the MSR reading is 9.2. Then over the vernier, you can see all the divisions are not coinciding, but you can see here. Now, one of the division 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6th one. Now, this is the 6th one. You can see it forms a single line or 7th one. Now, 6th one is coinciding. So, the VSR reading is 6. So, the VSR is a division that is 6. So, the total you can see 9.2 plus 6 into least count. So, that is equal to 9.206. That is a sample reading to how to take the uh, micro uh, vernier reading vernier. so we obtain the reading corresponds to n plus 2 to n plus 20th or 18th band with the help of the microscope now coming to the tabular column you can see how we are taking the uh, how we are marking the readings here now for the nth band msr vsr and total is called x0 n plus 2 that is x2 n plus 4 that is x4 n plus 6 that is x6 up to n plus 18 that is x18 now find the difference of x10 minus x0 that gives the width of 10 bands x12 minus x2 also gives width of 10 bands x14 minus x4 also gives width of 10 band x16 minus x6 and x18 minus x8 that also gives width of 10 bands that is taken as x now mean value of this x is find out and this x divided by 10 gives the width of one band that is beta that is beta now from that beta value knowing and knowing the value of lambda, we use the sodium light because sodium light is having a wavelength of 589.3 nanometer. We can determine the diameter of the wire using the formula lambda L by 2 bit. And we can determine also the angle of wedge by the formula lambda by 2 beta that much radians. So, the result is diameter of the wire and angle of wedge. Now, coming to the experimental setup of the air wedge. Now, the air wedge is placed here the air wedge is placed now the light from the sodium light is allowed to fall on a glass plate which is inclined by 45 degree so a part of the light is reflected normally back down and that falls on the air wedge then the interference bands are produced and that bands can be observed with the help of a microscope now this is a microscope is focused here the microscope is focused over the bands formed now looking through the microscope we can see the uh, bands there the bands are observed there then uh, it can be adjusted uh, the fine adjustments the tangential screw can be adjusted uh, so that the bands are clearly visible now just make sure that you can have about 20 or 25 bands there you just count uh, fixing the screw tangential screw is moved just count the number of bands so i can count say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now, up to 25 I have to count, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now, I obtain more than 25 bands. Now, to take the reading, take any one of the band as the end band. Now, we are just starting. Now, fix the vertical cross wire over a particular band and that band is taken as the end band, end band. Now, I decided I am rotating the screw in the clockwise direction only. To avoid the error it is focused on the end band now i am taking the msr and vsr reading here i am getting the msr reading the main scale reading is uh, 9.25 so msr reading is 9.25 and the vsr reading is 6 so the total reading is 9.256 it is noted now i am moving to the n plus 2 ring now the crosswire is moved the vertical crosswire is moved on now the second one now the first one is n now the second one one two so the second one so that is n plus two band again take the msr reading and vsr reading here i am obtaining msr reading as a 9.25 the msr reading and the vsr reading is 20 26 is coinciding so 26 is the vsr reading then again it is moved to the n plus fourth the fourth band fourth band that is moved the cro vertical crossover is coinciding over the fourth band fourth band then take the reading of the msr now the msr reading is 9.3 and 
the fifth division is coinciding so the vsr heading is 5 now it is moved to the n plus sixth sixth band sixth band now again take the uh, msr reading and vsr reading now move to the eighth band take the reading then move to the tenth band take the reading twelfth one take the reading fourteenth take reading sixteenth eighteenth and twentieth so i had i took the reading corresponds to the nth band to the uh, 20th band now with the help of that reading i can calculate the band width and hence the diameter can be calculated coming to a sample set of reading for the air wedge that we obtain we determine the least count the least count we obtain 0 0.001 centimeter now for the nth band we obtain the msr as 9.25 and vsr 6 so the total is 9.256 so for n plus 2 the band we obtain msr as 9.25 and vsr 26 so total is 9.276 and for fourth band 9.3 and 5 that is 9.305 similarly for the sixth band 9.3 and 29 9.329 up to 9 20th uh, band 9.45 and 23 that is 9.473 now from these values x0 to x18 we find out what is x10 divided uh, minus of x0 that is x10 is 9.370 minus 9.250 that is equal to 9.370 minus 9.256 that is equal to 0 0.114 that is the width of 10 bands similarly x12 that is 9.373 minus 9.276 that is also give the width of 10 bands x12 minus x2 so that is 9.373 minus 9.276 that is again 0 0.117 similarly x14 minus x4 x16 minus x6 x18 minus x8 and x20 minus x10 all these gives the width of 10 bands so mean of these values that is 0 0.1101 that is the width of 10 bands and divide by 10 that is 0 0.01101 that by centimeter that is the band width beta now this band width beta is written in meter that is 0 0.01101 into 10 to the power minus 2 now the air wedge is having a length that is the length from uh, one end the fixed end to the other uh, end where the wire is placed that is 4.2 centimeter 4.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter the sodium light is having a wavelength 589.3 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter so the diameter d is calculated substituting the values and we obtained 1.124 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter no actually it is micro actually in micrometer we can say it is 1.1 micrometer so even smaller than the millimeter you can imagine the thickness that my thickness can be determined using the air wedge 1.124 micrometer so that is a hair thin structure or hair thin wire similarly the air uh, radio uh, angle of wedge is calculated using the formula lambda, lambda by 2 pi so lambda we knows divided by 2 beta substituted so we obtain the angle of wedge that is 2.676 into 10 to the power of minus 3 radian and that is the result